waking up in sunny but freezing Albuquerque. It's literally zero degrees Celsius. I'm so cold. Very excited. We are going to hit up this Albuquerque itinerary and I think it's going to be pretty epic because we've got some cool things lined up. There's some amazing food, some great beers, some cool activities. So what am I waiting for? Hi there and welcome to Albuquerque. My name is Juliana of The Discovery Zone and over the next couple of days we are going to hit up the perfect Albuquerque itinerary. I think it's, there's a, a bit of a giveaway as to what we're doing today. We are going hot air ballooning in Albuquerque. Now Albuquerque is pretty much the hot air ballooning capital of the world. They have a massive international hot air balloon fiesta every October. And did you know that you can go hot air ballooning here every single day of the year, weather permitting, of course. Well, today it looks like we've got amazing conditions for a balloon ride and I am so excited to go up into the air and see the city from above. I am ridiculously excited about this. Um, so, yeah, let's see. start the day. We have been floating over Albuquerque and uh, I mean it's crazy but the city is just right there. It's actually pretty insane. I'd say it's very different to when I went hot air ballooning over the Valley of the Kings um, but like just the be able to see the scope and the scale of the valley is something just ridiculous. Well how was that as an experience? Pretty epic. Oh man, that is one way to start the day. So you hop into the balloon, obviously it inflates, you glide over the city. I mean, one of the things about hot air ballooning is just the silence punctuated by the sharp blasts of the hot air. It's just one of those iconic sounds that really is unparalleled. What an experience, floating over Albuquerque, you come down, you land. I mean, we've landed in a parking lot. It's crazy that we do this in a city. What an experience. 10 out of 10. Just me sitting on top of a mountain. At the top of the Sandia Peak, you can catch the tramway from uh, the outskirts of Albuquerque. Whizzes you up just under 4,000 feet in 15 minutes. And the views from the top are pretty epic. It is so cold. <laughs> Do you ever have those moments where you realise you have been incredibly ambitious about stuff? I knew there were, we've just caught the tramway to the top of Sandia Peak, which absolutely recommend. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, gonna go on a, go on a hike, a little hike. There's a couple of trails at the top of the, top of the mountain. That, like, literally. <laughs> this is, I think, what you call not being quite prepared for America. Like down there, we're down in the desert. Up here, we are not in the desert. Like this though is once in a while you'll just like hit a pocket. Right down. Right down. This is great. <laughs> oh god. It is <laughs> The sunset is pretty epic up here. We stayed up for sunset is freezing cold but just check that out we are just setting off on the Rinconada Canyon Trail in Petroglyph National Monument. This is one place that you definitely shouldn't miss when you are in Albuquerque. This incredible park is home to more than 25,000 petroglyphs, the ancient carvings made by Native Americans. Pretty excited about doing this trail actually. So this is like I said, the Rinconada Canyon Trail. You can see I think 300 petroglyphs during the hike. 
and you can bring a pair of binoculars to see them up close but I've been told that you can see lots of them from afar as well and uh, it's a two, two and a half mile hike so the ranger said it should take about an hour and a half if you're walking slowly or you know longer depending on how many photos you're going to take I think the answer for me is millions Along the way, you'll see dozens of petroglyphs ranging from simple geometric shapes to more complex images of animals, people and celestial objects. It's a pretty unique experience to see these ancient carvings up close and you'll gain a deeper appreciation for the history and the culture of the people who lived in this area centuries ago. This is fun. It's really cool. So you get to play, spot the petroglyph, which is always quite fun. You can just be walking along. You can see one here, one there, and then you get to work out what they actually are, um, which some of them, I mean, it's a good fun guessing game because some of them are quite strange, um, all very interesting. There are some signs, but actually it's, it's quite good to just look at them and really think about them and try and work out for yourself without reading. This historic district is at the heart and soul of Albuquerque. It's home to stunning adobe buildings, shops, galleries and restaurants and it's the perfect place to take a stroll and soak up the city's unique culture. It's cute. I'm here in February and it is very, very quiet as I think you can see behind me, but it's really cute. There's loads of little shops, little restaurants, great coffee shop called Blackbird. That was fantastic coffee. And it's just a lovely place to have a stroll. We're also going to pop for lunch at um, a street food market around the corner, but that's that's coming later. All right, so we are here at Sawmill Market and I'm having a cheeky margarita. It's pretty fantastic, to be honest. Look at the size of it as well. Love the margarita. Um, I just had poke and wow, delicious. Amazing choice of vendors that you can go. You've got pizza, you've got burgers, you've got hot dogs, you've got poke. You've got tacos, you've got pretty much everything. And it's a great place to come down and eat when you're here in Albuquerque. Just about to head into the Pueblo Indian Cultural Centre. This actually talks about the history of the Pueblo Indians who have inhabited the Southwest for thousands of years. It's a place where you can go and learn about their culture, food, dance and music. And I'm very excited about this. Right, I am here at the Bow and Arrow Brewery and it's pretty epic. It's one of 30 breweries here in Albuquerque. Now, Albuquerque is not a massive city, but what it does do is breweries and it does them pretty well. Um, this is owned by an indigenous woman and so it's a pretty unusual brewery, but it also just serves up some pretty banging beer, which is exactly what you want from a brewery. So, Without any more ado, I'm gonna cheers. Oh, that's it from me for Albuquerque. Albuquerque has been a blast. I have to be honest, sad that I've only had a couple of days here. I would absolutely come back because it's really been cool from the hot air ballooning to going up the Sandia Peak tramway and learning all about the culture. It's just been completely brilliant.